Hello everyone! Today I'm going to show you how to crochet this super easy and beautiful winter cowl. It's the same yarn I use for our ripple stitch hat. It's the same color and it's awesome for the winter time now. It's I wanted to make a set so we have both pieces in the same colors and like I said this is a very very easy pattern. It's a one row repeat so awesome for beginners. And now I will show you what what we need to make this beautiful cowl. Today I'm using a 10 millimeter crochet hook. You also need a pair of scissors, a yarn needle, and like I said, I'm using the same yarn I did for a hat, the Kinko Cotswold Chunky in the color Broadway. So let's get started. We start with a slip knot and we will make a chain of 50 chains it's very easy to do just grab your yarn and pull through the loop and you will repeat this until you have 50 chains i just finished my chains of 50 and now you just go along to make sure it's not gonna get twisted just use your finger and make sure it doesn't twist on you like here and now we will connect both sides. It's very easy to do. Just insert your hook and grab your yarn and make a slip stitch. And this is how you connect both sides. Just like I said, make sure it's not twisted. For the next round, you will make a chain of one. So chain one. Now in the same stitch over here, we will make a single crochet. So insert your hook, grab your yarn, pull up. You have two loops on your hook and go through both loops. This is how you make a single crochet and you will do this all the way around. In every stitch, one single crochet till you get to the other side. I finished working one single crochet in every stitch all the way around. For the next row, it's just important. Like I said, first we are not going to connect with a slip stitch or anything. These are spiral rounds. So the only important thing is to work in the back loop from the single crochet from the previous round. You will skip the first chain we did and go into the first single crochet but in the back loop only. So insert your hook into the back loop only and this is the loop we need to work in. It's very very easy just like I said in the back loop insert your hook, grab your yarn, two loops on your hook and finish your single crochet. And you will repeat this in every stitch just one single crochet in the back loop only. I finished my row of single crochets and this is how it looks like right now. Now the stitch appears and you can see it. It's very, very easy and fast to do. And now for the next round, you will repeat the same thing. Like I said, we're not going to make a slip stitch. You just repeat in spiral rounds. So just keep crocheting one single crochet in the back loop only. And I will repeat this for a couple of rounds and I will show you in just a moment how many rows I needed to finish my cowl. I repeated the row over and over again and I have a total of 27 rows. And now you can see the stitch even better the more rows you do. Like I said, you can make it as high as you want. This is totally up to you. If you want it longer, just keep repeating this row until you have your desired height for your cowl. I'm going to finish off over here. What I did, I just checked where I have my um, beginning of the yarn, which is over here. And then I just made sure I finished on the same height, like you can see over here now. So here's our beginning and here's my end. And all you're going to do to finish it off 
we will be working a slip stitch in the back loop only so just insert your hook grab your yarn and pull through and i will make one more so just insert your hook and make another slip stitch and now it's nice and even all you're going to do now is just make a chain one so chain one and pull tight now grab your scissors and cut your yarn grab your needle again and pull through and pull tight the next step is to sew in all our ends we only have two and it's very easy you just grab your yarn needle and sew in your end what i always do i always go in and back a couple times just to make sure it's not gonna open up on me if we wash our coal or yeah just to make sure it's not gonna open up so just finish sewing in your end and then you can cut the yarn and all you're going to do is sew in your other end and we are done I sewed in all my ends and we are done you see it just so so beautiful and it was so easy to do i really hope you enjoyed making this easy call with me i would love to see your pictures of your projects you can find me on instagram i really hope you enjoyed this tutorial and i hope to see you back soon bye